I studied and I trained a lot of people. I began to teach people when I was 12 years old because my um, skills in the martial arts. We train, basically train sometimes eight hours a day, 12 hours a day, six hours a day minimum and for you know, most, almost 30 years. Martial arts has been a part of Master Sean Lu's life for more than 50 years. He received his first lessons at age five. Lu's amazing life story is one of overcoming challenges in China. He lost both parents at birth. When the Communist Party took over the country and they wanted him to repent, so he repented. That put him as a counter-revolutionary, a person against the Communist Party. So he was put in prison and just for that. The whole family became the enemy of the country. He died in prison. And then I was born right his, uh, after his death. My mother and gave me birth, and the second day has to live, had to leave because she didn't want anybody knew this boy was born, and because they wanted her to get rid of it, but she didn't. Lou was born in an Episcopal church where his grandparents lived and worked. They raised him for only three years as the communists started persecuting church members. An uncle took him in. And my uncle later on died of starvation during the famine you know, in China in the 60s. So my shifu took me over. And I was just like an orphan at the time. My teacher, and that's my shifu. So they were, they were really, really good friends. People called me often, and my chef would just say, well, you're not often, you're my son. And you know, he's been monk for 70 years at the Shonen Temple. At that time, Shonen Temple, there's no Shonen Temple anymore. Why? Because the Communist Party didn't want any religion or any church, any temple to exist. The temple became subdivided into villages. Life was tough under communism. When I was five years old, and then I began to really had to work. I got up at normally four o'clock in the morning. I, I, I didn't have any, any food. 50 cents. We can live with, with my teacher for three months. The people say, we're poor. They don't know what the poor was. <laughs> the whole year, one pound of salt, it can last for one year for two people. Yeah, it was tough. Despite the circumstances, Lou's martial arts talent put him before thousands. In front of 20,000 people, audience during the Cultural Revolution. Yeah. That was my first demonstration at the, uh, in the big crowd under the Chairman Mao. Denied a formal education, Lu became a student of English. I didn't finish my middle school, uh, did not you know, go to um, high school. I said, well, I want to go to college. People said, no way. I believed I can do it. I borrowed books because I didn't have money to buy. And I knew 16 letters at the time. I sneak Voice America to study. Took me three years, I passed the college examinations. And I made the second in the nation in 98. Because of my high school in English, one college took me in. In college, he made the connection that led to his journey to America and Mobile. I met an American uh, teacher who belonged to the Baptist Convention. She got me hooked up with, uh, at the time, Mobile College, University of Mobile, you know, uh, gave me full scholarship. I always thankful to University of Mobile. I became a photographer for the campus and they treated me wonderfully. Mobile is where Master Lu started teaching Shaolin Kung Fu again. I started in 1987 and one lady and uh, heard I knew martial arts and the one studied with me. That time I was very, very tough because I used the Chinese way. I taught at the University of South Alabama for many years. And then on, on the side, I teach some martial arts and as an extra curriculum. 1999, I opened my own school. Over the last 17 years, Master Lu has traveled the world, teaching a lifestyle in seminars and tournaments. We help people with the mind, body, and the spirit, and the well-being. Over here in the United States, the martial arts thought was thought as um, kind of fighting arts, but which is not true. In me, it's about infinite energy. Your belief in yourself, your contribution to the universe, your contribution to the community. In Mobile, Eric Reynolds, Fox 10 News.